Yo, welcome back to Construction Simulator. You know what it is. We've got that brand new Sandy Pack, baby. We're going to jump into it. We're going to break down these 15 brand new machines and we're going to start off with this SS2120C soil compactor. Can't go wrong with a brand new soil compactor. You know what they do. They compact the soil. You can pick this up for rent for around $1,800 or to buy for about $90,000. Let's jump into this and take a look at the interior. Simple, elegant, does the job. Next up, we've got the SY35U Tier 4 I Compact Excavator. Nice, small, very, very small. Cute little thing at the front. Let's hop in, take a look at the interior. You can pick this up to rent for $1,040 or to buy for $52,000. The interior is very, very basic, very compact, <laughs> and yeah, it pretty much does the job that any digger would do. Up next, we've got the SRT45 dump truck, which is a 45 ton dump truck, and we'll use this to move some serious material. Look at this thing. This is going to be absolutely wild on the roads. This is the one thing I've been anticipating, and I can't wait to jump into the cab. Let's take a look very nice they've included the bobble head which is sweet must be big enough for it cute little look back camera very very nice you can pick this up to rent for three thousand nine hundred and twenty thousand or buy it for a hundred and ninety six thousand but that brand new sani wheel loader look at this thing does exactly that moves things from one to another you can use it to flatten an area or load uh, materials, obviously, because, you know, the, the big bucket at the front. <laughs> uh, you can rent this for around 2780 or you can buy it for around 1390000 I'm um, loving the interior. I love the little designs I've got going on here. Super spacious. Is that a cup holder in the roof? No, it is a speaker. Cute little radio. Does the job little mid cab swivel there and then you know the good old scoop and bucket move over to the other side of the car park now and we get the str 130c asphalt compactor does exactly that this looks pretty nice in my opinion and it, it does that compacts asphalt you can pick this up to rent for around 1780 or you can buy it for about 89,000. nice interior very crammed Nice details on the buttons over on the side there. Look back, camera goes almost 180 degrees. Cute little radio at the top. I don't mind it. Can't complain about another compactor. Up next, we've got the SMG200C motor grader. You know how I feel about motor graders. I can't use them to save my life. But don't get me wrong, this one looks damn beautiful. You can pick this up for around 4500 to rent. Or 2250 to buy. Let's check out the interior. Super skinny, super sleek, not a lot of room, but hey, I hope it actually works. Now we move on to the biggest excavator in the pack, the SY500H T4F hydraulic excavator. You can pick this up to rent for about 5000 or you can buy it for $250,000, and it's the biggest excavator in the pack as mentioned. This looks very nice, nicely detailed. I don't know much about excavators. Maybe my excavator operators out there who follow me can give me a little more detail. Nice interior, nice and spacious. Nice detail on the side there with the diagrams. Big bucket to be picking up materials. And yeah, you can excavate and can be used to lift materials. Up next, we've got the SY305 hydraulic excavator. The second biggest excavator in this pack. Um, you can excavate, load bulk materials, and lift with it. You can pick this up for around three thousand five hundred to rent, or one thousand seven hundred fifty thousand to buy. And yeah, it's another excavator. I don't know how many excavators you guys want. So let's check out the interior here. See what they got going on. Nice crammed interior. Beautiful detail. Like look at that. Cute little roof. Nice little look back camera we got there. Yeah, that's the second biggest excavator in this pack. 
Next, we've got the SY155W Wheeled Hydraulic Excavator. I assume the W stands for wheeled. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you can excavate and lift materials with this. This is about a mid-tier one in the pack. Looks very nice. I probably prefer this over the tracked ones because you know the button layouts. Let's take a look inside. Beautiful interior. Again, nicely detailed on the side. You can pick this up to rent for around $2,500 or you can buy it for around $125,000. Nice sort of look back camera. Great details on the side. Yeah, all around, nice cab. Up next, we've got the rotary drilling rig, the most complex machine in the game, now with the Sani logo. <laughs> uh, I don't, don't mind it, looks very nice, very elegant. Check out the interior, super nice interior. Again, very well detailed. I feel like the developers are actually getting this. Nice look back camera, great details. You can pick this up for around $5,000 or you can buy it for around $250,000. Now we have the cold planer. Don't know how many cold planers you need. Right now it's down to, you know, aesthetics and brand. They all do the same thing. They all rip up the materials of the road. You pick this up to rent for around $5,980 or to buy for around $299,000. Let's jump into the interior. Nicely controlled. It would be good to see if you can get another co-op person over on the other side. Looks beautiful. Great hand gestures. Super nice. Nice look back camera. Great overhead. And yeah, that's the cold planer. Down to the second last one now. We've got the SAC 1300 2T mobile crane. Um, I'm always excited to get new cranes. You know how I feel about cranes. If you don't, you obviously don't watch me enough. Um, apparently, you can use these to lift materials, uh, duh, and you can pour concrete. If anyone knows how to pour concrete with these machines, let me know, because apparently you could do it with the Liberia, but I am yet to figure that out. Let's check out the interior. You can rent this out for around 7500 or you could buy it for around 375000 Super spacious, absolutely beautiful, nice look back camera, and big enough for a bobblehead. Let's bring it out just a touch to see what it looks like in the crane cab. Crane cab looks very nice, super spacious, very well detailed, very well detailed. Like look at that. Great, great, I, I can't complain, I'm speechless. This looks amazing. Now technically the lucky last machine that I can show off we got the SAC 4500 mobile crane with the ability to lift and pour concrete. Again, if you know how to far pour the concrete, let me know. This, unfortunately, is not as big as the Libya crane, the Libya, Libya crane, however you pronounce it. It looks to be the Libya crane is just taller. Just. Um, it's just shy of beating it, which is of a shame. But if you want to rent it, you can rent it for around 11000 or you can pick it up for $550,000. Let's take a look inside. Again, beautiful interior, slightly bigger than the other one. Wish you could just use a little bit of these controls. Let's check out the crane. Again, crane interior looks very nice, very spacious. Very nice overhead. Right, look at that. Absolutely amazing. You can never have too many cranes. And lucky last, we have the SFT100 tower crane. You can rent this sucker for 5,120 a day, or you can buy it for around 217,000. We'll jump into it and have a look in the in cab. Beautiful in cab. Other than this little bar right here, it's not too bad. Super sketch, you can see right through the floor. Very nice. Best view in the house right here. Absolutely amazing. I can't complain with a brand new tower crane. Love it. Um, upset we didn't get a crawler crane. But outside of that, guys, let me know what you think about this new pack. What machines you'll be buying. What machines you won't be buying. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Um, if you stuck around this long, hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video and you want to see more, hit that like button. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.